Welcome back. A new virtual endeavor is taking people to places they might not otherwise get to go. It's called Virtual Photo Walks, and it uses Google Plus Hangouts to show people at home or in the hospital things they've always wanted to see. And for seven-year-old Dominic Garufi, it was a bright spot on what might have otherwise been a dark day. He is uh, an extremely strong little boy who is having to learn um, no seven-year-old, no child even at any age this young should have to deal with a lot of the things that he does on a daily basis. Seven-year-old Dominic Garufi arrived at the hospital to get treatment for his Crohn's disease. Next to his hospital bed was a laptop. Little did he know this day-long infusion would also include a virtual photo walk to Canada to feed the birds. And watching my son go through this and seeing how much joy it brought him uh, was something that was incredible for me. And when I watched it, saw it, I knew I needed to be a part of this. It's something that can bring a lot of joy to a lot of people who don't normally get something this great. I'm going to take you for a walk. I'm going to take you for a walk down to the lake now. Look, look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Is that the forum? And with this device, it mounts just on top. And you can, the participants can see what I'm going to take a picture of. And it's streamed back into Google+. Plus. I wish you could see the ones down here. Virtual Photo Walks Better. uses Google Plus Hangouts, a group video chat room, experience. to show people Rome, right. Hawaii, oh, Australia. Wow. It's the Indian Ocean. Oh, that's great. Multiple Holy sclerosis God. didn't stop Corey Fisk from experiencing the beauty of birch trees. We can yeah. zoom in. If you see anything oh. you like. I want it out a little so it can just be the stark whiteness of the bir birch in the snow against the wonderful dark, darker. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, Corey was overwhelmed because she'd never taken a picture of anything other than out her window for five years. So that's pretty powerful and she's extremely creative and very bright and uh, that's got to be incredibly frustrating. I'd heard a story years ago about a photographer that only took a picture of a tree out his window every day till he died because that's all he could see. Anybody who yeah. wants to just get Yep. get involved maybe somebody's okay. going for a hike and they they strap their iphone to the uh handlebars of their bike and take someone for a bike ride if you're walking your dog you could do this and give somebody the 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 experience that they now miss out on yeah so you can see this is just it's so beautiful in the words of Monica Malone, this is so beautiful. If you know of someone who might benefit from a virtual photo walk, you can email virtualphotowalks, that's at gmail.com. The group is also looking for photographers to share their world. We have a link to its Google Plus page on our website, that's at komu.com. Just keyword search virtual photo walk. Monica Malone, what was that like for you to experience all of those different places um, um, via, via your computer? Oh, it was amazing. Um, it's a, it was a dream come true, especially to see Rome. I've always wanted to see Rome, and uh, I've kind of resigned myself to the fact that I would just, you know, never get over there. Um, airline travel is really difficult for me with a compromised immune system. Um, but basically to be taken around and see a lot of the, um, it's one thing to see pictures on the internet, but it's another to have someone there with a camera basically showing you scene after scene. It was really, really cool. Yeah, really cool indeed. All right, Monica Malone, we appreciate you joining us. Thanks so much.